uh, provide plenty of vision in the jungle. It'll deal nicely versus the uh, Enchantress if she is walking around in their jungle, in the enemy jungle, pretty much anywhere uh, they want to go with the Bounty Hunter will be valid. They'll find somebody to deal with it. So we will jump right into this game momentarily here. Once again, this is the Pro Dota Cup. This is a best of two between Elite Wolves and Shazam. Uh, once again, I am Opinion Engineer. You can find me on Twitter at Opinion Engineer. And we'll get into this game in just a minute. Just waiting for everyone to be uh, heroed up. Now let's wait on Smash to pick up this Death Prophet here. Oh man, Rick, there's only 10 seconds left to pick a hero! Yeah, five seconds left now. So, right into the game we go. See Brax picking up this Lena. Alright, so we'll start over here on the side of Elite Wolves. We see IWO picking up the Morphling Van, picking up the Batrider Smash, picking up the Death Prophet, Soko picking up the Enchantress, and M God on this Rubik. Over on the side of Shazam, we have Fun playing the Dazzle, Brax playing this Lena, SVG playing the Bounty Hunter. Up in the top lane here on the Lone Druid, we have MSS. And we see TC coming in on this Ursa. Elite Wolves spots out Brax on this Lena here. We'll see if they're able to catch him. Van throwing out the sticky napalms. Two stacks so far on the Lena. That's up to three stacks now. Rubik trying to get in position just a little short of the list. And there's the lift. Plenty of stacks of sticky napalm to finish her off. Enchantress throws out the enchant just to keep her nice and slow. They'll turn this around, see if they can pick off fun here. Suko will give a little bit of a dive on to fun and just turn it around. So we see 120 gold going the way of Elite Wolves. See Smash pick up the Bounty Ruin on the Death Prophet and MSS will pick up the Bounty Ruin on the Lone Druid. The lanes are working on settling here. We see SVG just harassing MGOD a little bit down in the river. TC waiting in the jungle. Uh, we'll see if they want to pop out on anybody. Sentry Ward goes down from MGOD looking for this SVG bounty hunter. The mid lane here, we see Brax going up against this Death Prophet, taking heavy damage already. No, no. Won't quite be able to kill off Brax just yet. Uh, he's only sitting on a fairy fighter and a tango, however, so we have to play it fairly safely. We'll see SVG start to rotate over, help to get a little bit of harassment onto the Death Prophet to try to help out this Lita as much as possible. And we might see Smash go down here to SVG and Brax. Don't quite have the damage. One last right click from Brax, almost able to finish it off. Pops the last fairy fighter. Luckily, just enough time in between. Unfortunately, Smash got a little bit greedy, headed back in, and caught the last Dragon Slave to the face, and that'll be the end of Smash. A uh, nice kill going to Brax. Clarity and Salve up, and he will be back in fighting shape by the time Smash arrives in the mid lane again. See 300 gold swing Nina's way after that one, and she's caught right back up with Death Prophet, actually half a level ahead now. We'll see Musuko and M God collapsing onto the mid or the bottom lane here, looking for TC. He was nice and far back though, won't have to worry too much. They'll throw Fun up into the air, doesn't have the shallow grave. This will be the death of Fun for one last right click from IWO and Musuko. Elite Wolves just kind of setting up shop, uh, creep cutting here, trying to get as much damage onto this tier 2 as possible. See Musuko head back up into the jungle, grab a new creep, and bring that down into the meat grinder of this bottom lane and continue getting damage onto this tier 2. See SVG rotating back in, they'll look for another kill on the smash. 
LSA lands in. This will be a nice easy kill going the way of Brax. Might get a return kill onto Brax. Pops the Fairy Fire, and that'll keep him alive uh, with about 50 HP. Uh, <laughs> fairly close on the two for or the two v one there, but Brax and SVG were able to survive. See this Rubik with a uh, Arcane Ruin up, able to pick off. TC's Ursa down in the bottom lane. So far in this game, fairly action-packed. Uh, neither team really wants to, you know, back off. They're going to keep the pressure up as much as possible. Don't really want this Ursa to get too much farm. So we see Brax actually had to run all the way back to the base. Uh, not happy about that. That'll cost him a lot of time. Suko is just heading back to the woods here. She'll probably look at farming up as soon as she gets a little bit of mana for the Enchantress. Van gets rooted by MSS here. Should go down to one last right click coming out from the Lone Druid. So across the map, it's a... Or across the game, really, it's a 3 for 3 here. See about 500 gold going away from Lone Druid after that. Up to 450 gold on this Ursa. Lone Druid sitting at 700 gold. Probably go for a Midas into a Radiance. I don't imagine it'll be a straight Radiance in this game. We see Shazam um, kind of converging onto IWO here. He'll be able to TP right, or sorry, waveform right out. Nothing really came of that one. Mgod moving in. Don't have the backup in the Enchantress just yet. She's slowly rotating her way down. Has the Enchant ready to go. If they get close enough to TC, they can throw that out. We can see Brax kind of diving smash a little bit here. Not able to get a kill this time. We'll jump back down to the bottom lane. As we see things heating up once again. Mgod wrapping in behind. Has the lift ready to go. We'll see if he can get it onto TC. And if IWO and Masuko want to dive this too terribly much. Overpower up from TC. He'll actually look to push forward as SVG rotates in behind M God and Masuko. They have an Invis Ruin sitting here, or a Sentry Ward sitting here so they can see SVG as he rotated in. Not too worried about him. Chantress not able to get a trap onto TC right there. He'll pop the cell, be back up to full HP. Fleet Wolves decide now's the time to dive here as Smash rotates down into the bottom lane, able to pick off the Dazzle first. Now they'll start working on TC. Brax TPing down. He will go down. But not before he's able to get a Constellation kill onto Enchantress with the help of that Laguna Blade. So in the end, a 2 for, or a 3 for a 1 going the way of Elite Wolves. We can see about an 800 gold swing their way plus a tier 1 tower in the bottom lane. Illusion. MSS sitting up here on 900 gold has a single gloves of haste on the spirit bear. I'd imagine this will become the Midas in about 600 gold here. Smash pushing in in the mid lane has level 6 hasn't put the uh, point into exorcism just yet. Needs a few more levels before they're really comfortable uh, pushing too hard into the tier 1 tower. SVG hunting with Suko a little bit here up top. No detection on Smash. No detection on Masuko. Uh, it does have a sentry ward, so they can look at making a play with that. Van gets a nice lasso out onto MSS. Might be able to burn him down. Laguna Blade trying to turn this around onto Van. Looks like they won't quite be able to finish it off on Van. Bear going deep. Not able to get the damage out. Brax low. Shallow graved up. Trying to head home. IWO should be able to finish this one off. Uh, just needs the waveform. Doesn't quite have it. No waveform forward. And... Uh, Enchantress will wrap in, get the kill on to Lena. MSS will TP out in the woods. Just 150 gold away from picking up the Midas. Smash rotates over and helps 
Misuko get another kill, uh, another two kills actually, to pick off the Bounty Hunter and the Dazzle. So we see about 550 gold swing the way of Elite Wolves after that. Pretty early off here, but we're up to about a thousand gold going the way of Elite Wolves. Uh, not an insurmountable lead. As MSS is fairly close to this hand of Midas, so he'll have the catch up uh, if they can draw the game out late enough, but it is going to take him quite a while to actually get online. And I imagine we'll see Elite Wolves just push as hard as they can before the Sloan Druid can come online and they won't quite be able to deal with him if that happens. SVG will head back into the woods, might be able to pick off Van here, has two points in Shuriken, should be a fairly easy kill, and doesn't have the mana for another Shuriken, they try for a healing wave from the low ground, but wasn't quite clo close enough for the damage to actually hit. So Van will be able to TP out. In the meantime, TC headed into the Ursa Pit, or the <laughs> Roshan pick, picks up the Aegis of the Immortal at level 8.5 minutes, or sorry, at 8.5 minutes into the game here, almost up to level 9 on TC. Van sitting at 600 gold plus his Tranquil Boots. It'll be quite a long time before he gets that Blink Dagger up. Doesn't have too many stacks to work with here in the jungle, unfortunately. He has to share stacks with the Enchanter, so things going a little slower than he would really like. We'll see TC with this Aegis pushing into the Tier 1 tower on the bottom here. He'll look to uh, take a trade for this if he can get the rest of the team to engage him in the mid. Looks like a smoked up Bat Rider and Masuko will head down to the bottom lane here. Um, have to start off with the lasso right on to fun. He'll rotate around, throws out a couple sticky napalms, not quite able to get into range just yet. Early Shallow Grave comes up onto fun. They won't blow it just yet. TC doing heavy damage onto the Enchantress. And now we see the Rubik grow down. Smash about to drop to TC. Just needs a few more right clicks. TC thinking better of it will start to head back. One more right click from smash would have taken the Aegis off of TC. They'll go for a consolation kill onto Brax here. Lasso comes out and that'll be a dead Brax. TC healed back up, heads back in. Uh, almost one shots. M God. M God does in fact go down. Smash still in the area. DD up. Exorcism still rolling. Uh, won't be able to stop the TP out from TC until a flame break comes in. SVG, on the other hand, will be able to get away. Nothing else uh, in their hands that can stop that TP. IWO gets a denial of the mid tier 1 tower. Not able to finish off this bear before he gets with 150 HP, unfortunately. If he had the Manifor waveform, would have been a nice bear kill. Smash heads back to the mid. Uh, working on a Drums of Endurance just wants a little bit of movement speed, a little bit of survivability before he looks at the Yule Scepter or Octarine Core, really whatever he wants to grab first. Van up to 1900 gold. We'll have that Blink Dagger up in 350 gold here. Uh, I'd be pretty happy about that with those nice couple kills they got in the bottom lane. His farm really accelerated. SVG stalking the mid lane. IWO here. M God moving in as a bit of backup. Gets a spell steal onto the Lena, throws SVG up in the air, and a nice sentry ward will ensure the kill onto SVG. We'll see Fun and MSS up the top, looking to start pushing on this tier 1 tower. Hand of Midas up for the Spirit Bear, plus another 1500 gold, halfway to that Sacred Relic, and just under half really. Smash will move in, drop the silence onto Brax. IWO waveforming forward will finish off Brax in the mid lane. Three hundred and forty gold uh, advantage going the way of Elite Wolves after that one. Saw a dust come out on um, bottom here. Van chasing down this bounty hunter doesn't have the lasso, but plenty of sticky napalms up to finish that one off. Well, with that we see 
1500 gold in advantage towards elite wolves with that kill that'll give him another 450 gold blink dagger now completed from van uh already been having enough troubles against this bat rider and they're about to get even worse now M God, Skeleton Walk, or Shadow Walk, sorry, up on the Rubik here, providing a lot of scouting for the sign of Elite Wolves. TC moving in. Won't be able to kill anybody just yet. Still 400 gold short of the Blink Dagger. Exorcism popped by Smash. They'll look at running down MSS, trying to delay this Sacred Relic as much as possible. Van will jump in, grab Brax here. He'll get pulled into the Ancients. Haven't quite finished him off. TC will turn things around, look at killing off M God. M God goes down. That's a track kill going the way of Shazam. So far, a two for one going the way of Shazam. IWO trying to get a trade on MSS. Shallow Grave and Healing Wave keeping him alive. He'll start morphing strength and just TP out underneath all of Shazam. In the end, a two for one going the way of Shazam. I'm able to pick off Smash and a support. <laughs> yeah. 1200 gold going the way of Shazam after that quick engagement. We'll see that we'll start to bring things a little closer back to even for Shazam. We can see the Lone Druid, number one on net worth right now. 2,500 gold. Van moves in. Didn't have the lasso ready to go. Otherwise, that would have been a kill on the Lone Druid. Waypoint formed by IWO. Look at just getting a little bit of harassment damage onto Brax. Won't be able to kill him off himself. Smash in the back lines here. They're ready to make a play onto Brax. Exorcism not up for another 60 seconds. They'll have to buy a little bit of time. Zuko rotating in through the jungle. Throw down an observer. Looks like an observer ward. But there was already a sentry sitting there from the side of Shazam. So they'll instantly destroy that with the quelling blade from the spirit bear. TC making a go on Masuko. Pops the nature's attendance, but not able to save him as the fury swipes are already stacked up. Morphling, Perseverance up right now, going towards a Lincoln Sphere. Smash has the drums completed, sitting on another 700 gold. Probably see a Yule Scepter come up for Smash next. Smoke up from Van Bell, head through the jungle, probably turn towards the mid lane. Uh, should run right into Brax if they're lucky. Not my problem, but Dyer's top tower just fell. Brax will show himself in the mid lane here. Van will pop the Firefly and go for the dive. Uh, Blink Lasso on to Brax. Shallow Grave didn't come out just yet. Uh, sat on it a little bit too long there from fun on this Dazzle here. So Brax will go down to the Elite Wolves gank. IWO and Masuko pushing in on the bottom lane with that distraction they created in the mid. We'll see all of Elite Wolves start to rotate over. It looks like they just want to continue their pushing game. TC Blink Dagger up, sitting on the top lane, ready, waiting for somebody to TP in. We'll see IWO TP in. Uh, Brax doesn't immediately jump on this. A little bit worried about trying to go for the Morphling. Probably can't kill him before that Strength Morph happens. TC has the Blink Dagger ready to go. SVG stalking him with fun in the area. The Shadow Wave could probably deal enough damage to IWO before he can morph too much Strength. Starting to morph Strength. Uh, throws TC back after the Enrage comes up. Van TP's forward. Doesn't have the Lasso ready to go for another 12 seconds. But a Haste Rune on him. He'll make it... Rather hard to actually lock him down. TC will go down to the Morphling now that the Lincoln Sphere is completed. Weren't able to get as much control on him as they were hoping. Lasso off cooldown now. They'll grab fun as they try to kill SVG. Not able to finish that kill in time. SVG should go down momentarily. And now they'll be able to pick off fun. Who doesn't have a TP to TP out. So 
Nice three for Nil going the way of Elite Wolves. We see about 2,000 gold swing the way of Elite Wolves after that one. And a fairly large group of Elite Wolves will head down the... Uh, towards the Tier 1 tower here. Exorcism ready to roll from Smash. As soon as they hit the tower, they'll pop that. Actually see the Ghost Scepter come up from Death Prophet first. Uh, looking to counter out this Ursa. Lone Druid, 900 gold. Uh, probably has the Sacred Relic on the bear. So he's just about... What is that? 400 gold short of that Radiance. Yeah, Sacred Relic ready to go. Just 400 gold short of the Radiance right now. Just needs the recipe. Oh, Dyer's bottom tower is denied. Oh. Bottom tier one tower gets denied by IWO. Just starving out uh, the side of Shazam as much as they can. TC will find the Roshan up once again. He'll run in with the help of the Dazzle. It should be a fairly easy kill for them. All of Elite Wolves is on the top lane here, just trying to push it in. And one last right click from TC will finish off Roshan. He'll TP back to the base. I don't see him. Yeah, he's back at the base. Tier 2 tower up top is gone. Tier 2 tower in the bottom lane is gone. Only the tier 1 tower in the mid still remains for the side of Shazam. 1900 gold plus a Lincoln Sphere sitting on IWO. He's having a just peachy game so far. Masuko. Vitality booster up. Uh, might be a rod of Atos coming out on him just to get a little bit more slows on to their side. Help that Batrider, Firefly, and help anybody else get in position smash staff of wizardry complete or completed staff of wizardry sitting in the bank 1200 gold probably working towards a yule scepter m god exposed in the mid lane here luckily nobody wants to jump on him uh 2000 gold he'll be going for a blink dagger next i'd imagine see the bat rider finish off a four staff by a smoke he'll tp into the middle lane fairly shortly here and he'll get another easy pick off Their net worth graph only about 3,000 in advantage of Elite Wolves right now. Oh, those little rascals are hitting Dyer's bottom tower. Radiance has been completed by MSS and another 1,200 gold up on him already. Uh, Elite Wolves needs to pick things up a little bit here as the Lone Druid at least is starting to get uh, a little bit fed. Ursa going for a Diffusal Blade first to counter these early Ghost Scepters that are coming out for the side of Elite Wolves. Just one up so far on Smash, but um, you know it's an easy four second window of you can't kill me. And they don't have that much damage besides the Lina, but the Lina really needs to be throwing that Laguna Blade onto the Enchantress, so not too worried about catching a Laguna Blade probably. Van has a smoke ready to go. As soon as they finish up these creeps, I imagine they'll pop the smoke, look for a kill. All of Shazam up top, hunting in the jungle, uh, just trying to secure this tier one or tier two tower up top. Uh, top tower is under attack. Smoke up from Elite Wolves. They'll head straight up from the mid lane and look to crash right into the backside of Shazam. Van lean the way, Blink Dagger, Force Staff ready to go, has the lasso up. I believe Exorcism is ready to go as well. We'll see Elite Wolves slowly move in here. Makes a Blink and a lasso onto SVG. This would be a nice easy kill. Exorcism gets rolling. Unfortunately, Fun is able to get that Shallow Grave out before they're able to finish off SVG. Smash already down underneath TC. And we see the Enchantress and the Rubik go down as well. Two dead on the side of Shazam, however, uh, the Batrider was able to get enough fire down to kill off the Lena and the Bounty Hunter after the fight, but 1300 gold going the way of Shazam, and we'll see them attempt to break high ground here, force out a couple buybacks if they can. TC doesn't do the most damage to uh, bases just yet, but the bear does plenty. And the overpower will help him. Zap. 
long range adaptive strike comes out onto TC, not able to finish him off, just gets him down to 50 HP. Uh, doesn't have the uh, confidence to TP out just yet. He'll continue to run backwards, gets around the corner, and he'll TP out. Elite Wolves not able to catch anybody as Shazam exits the top lane, able to get the top tier 3 down to about half HP. We'll see Shazam head into the mid lane here, almost able to kill off the bear. Just 30 HP short of finishing that off. Yule Scepter, uh, just about 300 gold short for Smash right now. Just needs that Void Stone to complete it up. TC, Age is still rolling, has a Diffusal Blade. Uh, we'll see what he wants to go for next. Could look at finishing off this Helm of the Dom. Could just get it like a Mask of Madness. He will blink Smash onto Smash here. And a Lift comes out from M God. Lagoon Blade came out onto the Death Prophet, not able to finish him off. However, they are able to catch the Rubik after that. That's the end of the Aegis 4 TC. Uh, we'll see how safe they want to play this. Looks like they'll just group up and continue the push in the mid lane here. MSS completed a Vladimir's Offering, has another 1700 gold. We'll see what he wants to go for first. Probably see a Hyperstone come up next and look at getting that early Assault Kuros onto this Lone Druid Bear. Smash moving forward. Has the Exorcism ready to go. Spirit Siphon onto the Spirit Bear. That'll just chase him back. Gets it down to half HP. In the meantime, IWO is down here in the bottom. Uh, doing as much pushing as he can. Uh, instantly blows up Brax there. I don't think Brax was quite prepared for the damage that Adaptive Strike was about to throw out there. And IWO will head into the woods, TP's out. Uh, won't be able to get the Savage Roar popped in time to cancel the TP. So a quick one for nothing going the way of Elite Wolves. Get the top tier 3 down to about half HP. Checking the graphs again. Was pretty much even up a little ahead for Shazam. Now it's dipping back in the favor of Elite Wolves. XP graphs. I was in favor of Shazam tipping back towards Elite Wolves right now. Van, Boots of Travel completed. Smash has the Yule Scepter completed, plus another 600 gold. Morphling, Yasha, Morbid Mask, 1700 gold. It'll probably be a mana style next, I would imagine. M God on this Rubik here has the early blink dagger from that nice early game he had. Um, pretty much stagnated after that, however. TC 2100 gold after completing this defusal blade. Still waiting to see what item he wants to go next. See that Rod of Ato is completed for the Enchantress now. Brax, Aether Lens, Yule Scepter, another 1000 gold. SVG Urn plus 2000 gold. Uh, we'll see what he wants to complete. Dazzle, 1,500 gold. A lot of gold sitting on these supports for the side of Shazam. But not quite sure what exactly they want to do with it. See the Bounty Hunter go and buy a mechanism. Uh, pretty standard Bounty Hunter build. We see him buy those Guardian Greaves and he doesn't ever have mana problems again. Van will pop the Firefly and TP onto Brax here. Nice quick grab. However, a fortuitous root comes out from the Spirit Bear almost instantly, and that'll be a dead van. Trades a gem over towards Shazam as well. Exorcism rolling from Smash. M God gets caught, instantly dies. Smash will go down in a second as soon as the Ghost Scepter ends. That's a three for nil going the way of Shazam. In the meantime, IWO was pushing in the mid lane, only able to get the tower down to about half HP. Adaptive Strike onto TC, trying to push him away, doing fairly good damage to him, so you will have to back up. Has the mana style ready to go, uh, able to get this tier 3 tower down to about a quarter HP. Will dive back onto TC, actually kills TC, uh, does a little bit more damage than TC was expecting, I think. Brax finds him in the woods, that'll be a dead Brax. Uh, IWO just dealing heavy damage to the side of... Shazam, however, this should be the death of IWL as the Spirit Bear does a lot more damage 
Uh, just needs to get a nice root, and that'll be the death of him. Pop the Savage Roar if they're too worried. They will throw up the Savage Roar. However, M God arrives, and the strength morphing starts from IWO. He will be able to walk away with the assistance of his friends. So IWO gets the mid tier 3 down to about a quarter HP and then picks off two heroes all by himself. He's a one man wrecking crew. 600 gold going the way of Elite Wolves for that. Checking the graphs. Uh, had jumped about 3,000 gold in advantage of Shazam. Slowly pours, pulls back towards Elite Wolves. Uh, we'll see if Shazam can deal with this Morphling better the next time they think they're taking a free fight. All of Shazam grouping up for a smoke. Assault Cuirass now completed for the Spirit Bear. They might run into the back of Van. Has the Blink Force ready to go. Probably won't be able to catch him here. Nice Blink away from Van. They will, however, find the IWO in the Roche Pit. Msuko will get trapped in here. This will be a dead Enchantress. Uh, tries to buy as much time as possible for his team. M-God steals a Shadow Wave. Uh, blinks out just before he goes down. Heard the lasso on to fun here. This will be a dead dazzle. Unfortunately, uh, as always, it seems he gets that shallow grave off at the last possible second. Smash goes down underneath the Ursa right clicks. They're hunting M God in the woods here. They know exactly where he is thanks to this track, and that'll be another track kill going the way of Shazam. Should be three track kills our way. Chasing IWO here. Probably be able to catch him this time. Man is off the track. Um, but not quite enough damage to actually end this, and Ursa gets the 800 gold bounty after that one. Second level, defusal completed for the Ursa, plus another 3,000 gold. He'll head into the Roche Pit and take that for himself. Uh, 5,000 gold swing the way of Shazam after that fight. Uh, it's getting grim for Elite Wolves now. And with, those, with that fight, this will probably top out at around... 7,000 gold in advantage of Shazam after that singular fight. Aegis Cheese going the way of Elite Wolves. Uh, they actually leave it in the pit. SVG runs right by Smash. Won't really worry too much about him. Just wanted to put down a ward to see um, the rotations behind this tier 2 tower remaining. Lift on to CC. Smash moving in. Trying to kill off TC. Unfortunately, they'll have to back up as the rest of Shazam is now rotating in. SVG still in the back lines here. Didn't throw out a track. Fun charging in just all by himself. TC will lead the charge down the mid lane here. Uh, 1400 gold up. Uh, should have something flying out to him on the courier, maybe. Uh, looks like he's buying an Aghanim Scepter to purge off that stun. I don't know what stun he's purging off. Maybe the adaptive strike stun. Maybe you can purge off the lasso with that. Uh, we'll see when the negative scepter arrives, what it, exactly it says here. Uh, allows Ursa to use the enrage. Alright, so if he does get lassoed, he can pop that enrage and you know take 80% less damage. So just like that, we see the enrage come out. And that's a free escape from lasso button now, uh, once every 18 seconds. Oh, the melee racks just kind or the range racks just kind of instantly is destroyed. Smash pops off the exorcism. Uh, he'll look at trying to turn this fight as best they can. Spirit bear taking heavy damage. Should lose a spirit bear at least. 
Probably has a second barrel ready to go. Yeah, has a second barrel ready to go. He'll throw the Luna Blade out onto Smash, throws himself up in the air, trying to buy a little bit of time. Fun almost going down underneath the spirits here. And we'll see TC move in, get a triple kill. That's a dead Enchantress, that's a dead Smash. They'll take out the mid lane Arax. Smash has the buyback ready to go. They pop the four, trying to buy as much time as possible. TC in the back line is dealing heavy damage. Picks off the Rubik. Smash buys back, trying to delay this base push. Just got to do anything they can at this point. Tier 3 tower taking a lot of damage. Lone Druid Bear will destroy the melee racks. This will be two lanes of racks. TC jumping in, able to get, pick off the Bat Rider before he can escape. Or so, or sorry, TC will find IWO in the air for right now. Long Ranger Gluten Blade comes in from Brax. That's a dead Enchantress. Or sorry, that was the Morphling that went down there. Not worrying about Mega Creeps. Uh, two buybacks come out. Morphling and the Bat Rider able to pick off the Aegis of this Ursa. We'll see if they can actually finish him off here. Use the flame break to hit him back into the fountain not quite able to finish him off however he'll run out of the pit and look at finishing off iwo pops to one last overpower not able to finish off iwo this is a dieback if iwo goes down elite wolves delaying this game as much as possible so far that all they've managed to do is kill tc and now they've killed the spirit bear so a one for i don't know like six or seven going the way of Shazam, and it says 1,700 gold, but I imagine it's a lot more than that. We'll check the net worth graph in just a second. And 25,000 gold in advantage of Shazam right now. Uh, looks like they will pick off MSS here. Long range Shell and Grave comes out from fun, but really just delaying things as MSS will go down. That's 900 gold going the way of the Morphling. They are... You know, they do have one Rax dead in the mid lane here. And fortunately for Elite Wolf, Shazam was nice enough not to go for Mega Creeps. Uh, got a little overconfident and went for the game instead, but working out for him for the most part here. Uh, four people go down from Shazam. IWO doesn't have a Creep Wave to work with, unfortunately. He'll look at backdooring this. Range racks doesn't have the damage to deal with it. No creeps in position for any uh, sort of base damage. Exorcism will come out and they will slowly be able to work through the base here. We'll see if they head towards the top lane or if they just leave. They actually head towards the bottom lane as they still have a tier 2 in the bottom. Unfortunately, they don't have any minus armor, so it takes a while to kill these towers. Uh, won't be able to finish off. They'll have to leave. So, almost back to 20,000 in advantage of Shazam now. Uh, we'll see if they just group up and head down the bottom lane, uh, as you'd expect, to try to close this game off. Be a couple minutes before the Roshan respawns. TC thrown up in the air by M God. He will go down. Has a BKB ready to go. Agnum Scepter on him. M God will leave a gem behind. SVG will pick that up. Now he's got a gem for each eye. So we don't see anyone from Elite Wolves in the area just yet. They'll be grouping up in the base. Uh, they'll just have to defend the high ground as best they can. Seeing Abyssal Blade completed for the Saloon Druid now. They'll have plenty of lockdown for anyone on the side of Elite Wolves. Van off on the side of the jungle here. Uh, they might see the fire. They'll grab MSS, pull him into the base. We'll see if they can kill him before the... Uh, sorry. The Dazzle gets in range to do anything. Uh, they'll be able to pick off Smash with a nice blink forward by TC. So far, one down on the side of Elite Wolves. 
tier 3 down to about a quarter HP, Spirit Bear will finish it off in one last right click. No buyback from Smash for another 60 seconds. TC thrown up in the air. Moving forward, he instantly destroys the Rubik. And now they'll play it smart. Take out the last two objectives that will prevent them from not winning instantly. Two for Neil going the way of Shazam. And uh, we have just over 20k gold advantage. They'll pick off the last tier 4, start hitting the Ancient, and Elite Wolves will call it. So a 37-minute game, uh, but going the way of Shazam, uh, something a lot of people didn't think would happen. But as we saw earlier, Shazam is on point tonight. Uh, taking out DC was probably a huge confidence boost. So we'll see if Elite Wolves can kind of bring this back their way in game number 2. Uh, they were ahead in the early game, but as soon as that lone druid came online, uh, they just fell to the onslaught, really. And once again, I am Opinion Engineer. You can find me on Twitter, 